I'm originally from Northern California, uh, a small town uh, called Petaluma, about 45 minutes north of San Francisco. Um, grew up there, uh, went to school uh, down in Santa Barbara at Westmont College. Um, and then from there went to Loma Linda for medical school, which is in, uh, just east of LA as well. And then from medical school, traveled all the way across to uh, Long Island, New York, uh, where I went to residency for, at uh, Stony Brook for orthopedic surgery. Uh, and then after graduating five years from there, uh, I did a fellowship in sports orthopedics um, in Birmingham, uh, Alabama. It's really, I was working with the best sports surgeons um, in, in the States, uh, really perhaps the entire world. Um, Dr. Lyle Kane, Dr. Jeffrey Dugas, Dr. Ben Emblem, and of course, Dr. James Andrews, uh, who started this fellowship. Um, they're they're the, the main guys there, and they're just phenomenal surgeons, um, phenomenal clinicians, um, and I, I got to learn from the best, just from both in the office, uh, as well as uh, learn in the operating room, They're, they can do it all. Basketball is much safer than football, uh, to put it lightly, um, but there still are significant injuries. I'd say more often in the lower extremities uh, are very common, ankle sprains being the, the most common. I think they, they take up around 15 to 20 percent of all injuries in the in, at least in the NBA, you do see a lot of knee injuries. So that's whether that's a, an ACL injury, a PCL injury, collateral ligament injuries. Um, those are common enough as well. Other injuries include, include fractures. I mean, fractures are always uh, can happen in basketball as well. Gordon Hayward of the Celtics broke his ankle. He was out a year. Um, you know, ankle fractures, uh, they, you need to fix them. But the majority of injuries that you have, whether it's a hamstring strain, whether it's just a simple strain, um, you know, a bruise, a contusion, uh, the mo majority of them are, are non-operative. You know, physical therapy is a, a key component of, of getting back uh, after a sprain, especially an ankle sprain or a knee sprain. If we're talking surgery, you know, for example, in ACL surgery, um, you're, you're going to be out for the rest of the year. I typically like it around maybe nine to ten months of rehab after an ACL uh, reconstruction. So I, I typically walk them through what what I plan on doing. Uh, you know, first of all, I, I give them the reasons why why they need surgery. You know, this is you know it's an ACL tear. You know, your your knee needs your ACL. Uh, you know, my, my whole goal is to do surgery, get them involved with physical therapy, work on their range of motion, slowly build up strength, um, and so I, I walk them through this whole you know from day one to post-operative day number, you know, six months, whatever it may be. Um, I try to give them a good understanding of what's going on or what to expect 